Right, it's Danny Flexen for seconds out here oh, with... Oh, yeah, Danny, <laughs> me old buddy, me old pal. Well, I've lost for words already. Interview's over. No. Tyson, we're at a press conference for your much long-awaited yes, comeback. June yes. the 9th, the king is back. He's the back. The king has returned. Well, if you can hold a shot as well as you can hold a note, you'll be doing well. Well, I can. <laughs> I can. And we all know I can, so I'll be doing well. You talked a lot on the stage about how your mindset's in a really good place, really happy at the moment. What's the secret behind that? Happy wife equals a happy life. That's what i got to say. She's happy, I'm happy. Very good. Um, you've working now with a new trainer in Ben Davison. We spoke to him earlier. Very, very positive guy. Very impressed with the stuff good he was saying to us. He is a good looking fellow. He's not my type necessarily, but, you know, a bit too muscled. Makes me feel self-conscious. He's not muscly. He's a bit chubby. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I bet he'll love that. What does he bring to the table that you perhaps haven't had in the past? He brings the fact that he's a good looking fella. Is that, was that important? Very important. Very important because, you know, I don't want to be going around as as a great boxer with an ugly trainer. My trainer needs to be sexy, suave, feeling it. And Ben is. Here he is. Here's the man himself. He's a good looking ben, ben Davison. If, if any of Tyson's ex trainers are watching this, we're really sorry. I call him Ben Davison. I call him Ben Dover. I'm not even going to ask why because that will just lead to more trouble. <laughs> no, he, listen, he's a good trainer. Um, I picked him because he's a good looking fella and he's young and he's ambitious and he's got a nice core in him. It's, if young, good looking fellas is what you like, that's all good with me. Um, your comeback fight, Frank Warren was quite keen to emphasise in the press conference that we shouldn't expect, you know, a world beater straight from the off. Is that at all frustrating for you? Because you probably feel ready to fight anyone. Listen, I'm not really bothered. I'm taking, taking it nice and slow. I've only got one career. I'm not in a rush to fight anybody or anything. And if they bring Alien versus Predator combined on the 9th of June, then that's how I'll fight. It's really unimportant who I fight because it's about me returning to my former glory. And the opponent is irrelevant in my opinion, whoever it may be, because we're not there to see the opponent, we're there to see that good looking fellow there. What would it take to return to your former glory, as you put it? What would it take winning all the belts or is it beating Joshua? What, what is it? My former glory will be back to its best on the 9th of June. You know, winning the world titles was one thing. Achieving a dream, a lifelong dream, it's a hard, hard thing and not many people can actually sit in this room today and say, I achieved what I dreamed as, as a child to be. And I did that. So the second coming of me is not about achieving anything. It's about enjoying myself and having a good time and having all fun and banter while I'm doing it. Training doesn't have to be monotonous and terrible and horrible and every sacrifice and all that. You've got to sacrifice to be successful at anything. But it also can be fun. And my training is very fun at the moment. I'm enjoying every day, every second, every minute. If we're not training in the gym, we're in the weight gym. We're not in the weight gym, we're in the sauna. We're not in the sauna, we're in the steam. We're not in the steam, we're in the jacuzzi. So it's, it's very good. We're having lots of banter. And it's a very, very happy, happy training camp. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. Ultimately, you missed boxing. It seems from all the fans surrounding you, the famous footage and also the tickets so far sales for this, yeah. boxing missed you. Do you really appreciate that? I appreciate it. You know, I love my fans. I've got a lot of fans. and I went, I went through a lot of hard times and they stood by me. And I, I've got to give them credit for that. And that's why I'm returning to put on good fights.